ready to have some control. This community is all about drama. When I defeated Malki I got so much hate, that I deleted almost all my FNC videos. Some people cannot take an L. Jeff, all those fundamental things, that's what's gonna make you a champion, if that's in your future. There it is! Oh, he goes down hard, and now he Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah you've been caught red-handed, fucking snake. Over here talking all that comments and noise about me on my YouTube channel and on other people's YouTube channel only for you to rage quit like that. Oh yeah, I'm glad I got this recorded because you're getting exposed for your fake record and your fake attitude. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's funny how things can change. Just after the instant of one punch, you went from talking about how people can't take an L right here to not being able to take an L on my channel. It's funny how people want to boast and brag about their accomplishments, but then when they're getting their ass whooped, it's just a game. What you saw on the double feature in the preview was the same moment as I was beating his ass was the same moment you saw on his side of the screen rage quitting. And for those who don't know, there's people out there that like to rage quit whenever they're getting a loss so that way it doesn't count on their record. Therefore that's why channels like mine exist to expose these fakes and these frauds. And the fake that I'm talking about today goes by the name of Sky Angel PR. Another YouTuber who primarily uploads Ultimate Mortal Kombat footage and Fight Night Champion footage as well. And the reason for the context behind the way the video is titled the way it is is that I actually discovered that Sky Angel PR was telling the truth about saying that he defeated Monkey Pablo, which many of you know as the greatest of all time. I found that hard to believe, but I did go do my research and my digging. And I did see the fight. And Malky Pablo himself actually commented on my channel about this three months ago, saying that he was pretty much snaked by Sky Angel PR by having someone else play him on that account. Now, I don't know whether or not that's true or not. He would be able to have to provide you more context on that. I can only speak from what I'm seeing. But from what I am seeing is, is he pretty much made sure that he did any and everything possible to run and get a win over Malky Pablo and upload it to his YouTube account immediately. Well, what I'm here to tell you Sky Angel PR is karma's a bitch. Because now I showed up and now I'm uploading a video of you trying to cheat the leaderboards, trying to get a fake record, and you rage quitting right there. And not only do you see it on my end, but I've also got it simulcasted on your end as well showing you exactly what you did and when you did it in other words you've been caught red-handed dude you're a fraud and I don't want to ever see you throw salt in my name here or in any other YouTube comments because the proof is right here in the pudding and you gotta eat that and hold this L for the rest of your life pinche punto pendejo Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. that everybody's been talking about. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. How about that left hand? Good return fire that time. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there.
That punch just close. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good looking uppercut that time. Do that again. Able to land with the right. Jab, uppercut, both upstairs. Halfway through round number one. Nice block. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Oh, that's a big hook right there. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. And a right hand lands flush. There you go. Gets rid of that effort. Ten seconds remaining in this round. As we come to the end of the round. But one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's that the impression the judges are left with. That was off the mark. Solid uppercut. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Yeah. Keep working the body. A good block. A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time. You want three or four. He's going. That scores big with the hook to the head. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Halfway through round number two. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Scores up top with a left. Good step back counter punch there. Nice work with the left hand. He scores with the jab. Blocks that punch. Fires right back at him. Parries that punch away. 
piercing jab. Final 10 seconds of round number two. You can almost see it just by the way. And round number three is underway. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Wow, is he defensively sound. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Scores well to the head with the right hand. to the halfway point of this third round. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Solid straight right hand. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Great movement to get away from those punches. Good flush shot upstairs. Comes right back at Keep him with a left hand. Well, he missed that right. Parries it away. Boom, big shot upstairs. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. And that's the end of round three. He's rolling the dice. He's hoping to come up with seven. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Punches and bunches working well. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. That right hand over the top lands flush. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Solid left. Good strong combo. Watch that! Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Stay close to this guy. Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. Been interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. Just missed with that punch. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. 
He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Teddy, he's just covering up. That's all he's doing, but it gives his opponent so much time to pick where he isn't. Yeah, you're right, Joe. I mean, first of all, some of them are going to get through, and some of them are watching them. They're getting through, and you just touched on it. I mean, you cover up, you tell your opponent, hey, I'm camping out, I'm not throwing back. So instead of throwing one or two at you, he's throwing combinations of three, four, five. You got a problem. Throws a counter punch there. Downstairs with a right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. A little defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Combination to the head. Not able to land the headshot. Oh, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And the, the action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going to distance based on what we've witnessed so far. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches, but the more important half of the equation, he's way off. Nice. Yeah, well, you know, you should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it straight, you wouldn't stand crooked, would you? <laughs> I mean, your feet would have to stand where you could hit the ball where your feet are pointing. That's the problem. His feet are crooked. They're pointing the wrong way, and his punches are going the wrong way. What the hook? Good exchange. He fires back. Good looking counter punch. There he is on the inside, doing well. What? Takes one what? to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Committing to the combo now. Both land. Little head knocking with that right hand. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically Marcus, sound Marcus. defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old-time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part, hitting him. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep... So we look at Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds that are complete here. This is a one-sided fight. Ah, you haven't seen the knockdowns from him, but you've seen everything else. Yeah, and that's really what's more important. I mean, everybody loves the knockdowns and the knockouts, don't get me wrong. But what is really going to carry you is the jab, all those fundamental things. That's what's going to make you a champion if that's in your future. There it is! Oh, he goes down hard, and now he's uh -huh. Yeah, you've been caught red-handed, you fucking snake. Over here talking all that comments and noise about me on my YouTube channel and on other people's YouTube channel only for you to rage quit like that? Oh yeah, I'm glad I got this recorded because you're getting exposed for your fake record and your fake attitude. Yeah. Over there trying to screw people over because you want to get some clout. Well, guess what? All the clout is coming to me. Because karma's a bitch. I'm a motherfucking thug.